Hello fam, welcome to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Wengil Zalal and I'm bringing you this report. Today's report comes from Dubai. Um, someone that is well known uh, died while scuba diving. His name is Sindika Dokolo. You might know him as the husband to Africa's richest woman, which is Isabel Dos Santos. Uh, we've covered her quite a number of times. Um, let me remind you who she is. Isabel Dos Santos is one of the richest women in the world alive. Let's give you a little background of where her money comes from. Isabel Dos Santos is the eldest daughter of former President Jose Eduardo Dos Santos. According to Forbes, she is Africa's richest woman with a fortune of $2 billion. She has stakes in oil, mobile phone companies, and banks in Angola and Portugal. She is educated in UK, where she currently lives, and she's married to a Congolese businessman, Sindika Dokolo. So you might be wondering, where did she get all this money from? Isabel got access to lucrative deals involving oil, diamonds, lands, and telecoms when her father was president of Angola. Her father served as president of Angola for 38 years. Angola has 29 million population and is the second biggest oil producer in Africa, as well as major diamond producer. And yet, 30% of the population live in poverty, getting less than $1 per day. Ex-president Dos Santos, her father, put her in charge of the state oil company, Sonangol, in 2016. The leaked documents show that as she left, the a state-owned company she approved 58 million dollars of payment to a consultancy company in Dubai even though she says she has no financial interest in the company paid the leaked documents reveal it was run by her business manager and owned by a friend. Much of her fortune is based on her ownership of stake in the Portuguese energy company Gulf. The leaked documents show her company only paid 15% of the price from the remaining $70 million. Her stake in Gulf is now worth more than $750 million. Former president also gave her husband the right to buy Angola's raw diamonds. Her husband, Sindika Dokolo, then started a diamond company, which the current Angolan government says the diamonds were sold at a knockdown price and that almost one billion dollars may have been lost. So Sindika Dokolo made a lot of money uh, because Isabel Dos Santos' father, then the president, allowed him to uh, be, be involved in the country's uh, diamond business. And uh, there was a lot of allegation against him for embezzling money, taking those diamonds for really cheap and you know making profits that affected the country revenue and uh, brought down uh, the diamond income they could have gotten uh, from that deal. Anyways, that's the guy that we are talking about. Sindika Dokolo passed away last week. Um, it's alleged, uh, we don't know for sure, but even the report that I read on says allegedly he died in a scuba diving accident. Um, I mean, condolences to his family and everybody who was mourning him. Isabel de Santos and their children, um, we're sorry for your loss, um, but we have to talk about him, right? So let me tell you a little bit about him. We'll come back and discuss. Congolese businessman Sindico Dokolo, husband to Isabel dos Santos, Africa's richest woman and daughter of the former president of Angola, died Thursday in Dubai from a supposed scuba diving accident. His passing comes amid legal turmoils as with the arrival of current Angolan president, an anti-corruption move eventually had the couple see their assets frozen in Angola at the beginning of 2020 by the courts in light of allegations of illicit enrichment and money laundering. The Angolan justice system is talking about the embezzlement of more than a billion dollars from public oil and diamond groups in a country where a third of the population lives below the poverty line. Sindika Dokolo and Isabel Dos Santos have denied any wrongdoing, but for several years the couple had been considered in Europe by the banks as politically exposed personalities, that is, those at risk of corruption, according to a survey by the Swiss newspaper Le Temps. Sindika Dokolo once defended himself against the allegation of corruption. Quote, he said, quote, I don't accept that we rich Africans should have to apologize or justify ourselves. I prefer that the wealth of the continent goes to a corrupt black man rather than a neo-colonialist white man. Sindika Dokolo was born in 1972 to a businessman father and the first private banker under the long regime of dictator Mobutu Sisi Seko from 1965 to 1997. His mother, Hani, is Danish and has lived in Kinshasa since 1966, where she still resides today. He was a really wealthy man and currently they were residing in Europe because of the current government. The current person that is in charge is actually seizing their assets, the Dos Santos family, seizing their assets. He just uh, jailed her brother, Isabel Dos Santos' brother. He's supposed to serve now five years in jail and he's really on to them. 
Um, so basically they are not here and they're in Europe residing there and some of their assets was also uh, seized I believe in Portugal so in the midst of all this going on their assets being seized and um, the government the current government of Angola um, hunting them down wanting them to come back and face the justice system um, she loses her husband, which which is really sad and unfortunate. But I really want to talk about one comment he made in 2017 when he was being asked about uh, his uh, involvement in corruption. And it really stuck in my head. So I think it's worth talking about. When he was asked about his involvement in corruption, he said, quote, I don't accept that we rich Africans should have to apologize or justify ourselves. I prefer that the wealth of the continent goes to a corrupt black man rather than a neo-colonialist white man. So basically he's saying he rather see a black, an African corrupt leader take all the money that that country has uh, as opposed to a neo-colonialist white man taking that same money. How about the people get the money instead of the corrupt leader and the neo-colonialist white man? why are we even discussing about this this is this was his comeback um i mean he's dead and i don't want to be too harsh but that's the reality his words live on and in 2017 that was his exact quote and that was his way of defending himself when he was told like yes you're wealthy but it's through corruption so he thinks he has every right to loot from angola or whichever country that he's he acquired his wealth and his wife acquired that wealth it's it's better if we take it than the white man how about you people in the position to help you people in the position to lead do your jobs right and the money goes to the people how about that really <laughs> it's so weird to me to hear that because he really i think it really made sense in his mind when he said that because he felt justified it's rather it's better me than another white man that money is still not helping the poor and yeah anyways may he rest in peace i just didn't understand that statement it was just hard for me to uh, get the justification for stealing from your own people and making sure that they're still in that poverty life that they live and they don't see a better future while your kids and your grandkids live a lavish life and you guys are billionaires his wife is the richest woman in Africa she is the richest woman and they think that they deserve it simply because her dad was the president he looted enough money and he gave them the opportunity to steal more and they are where they are now they say that they have not done that by the way um, yeah so guys do let us know down below what your thoughts are about um, that statement that he has made and also how do you think Isabel dos Santos will move going forward now that she lost like her anchor her husband because she's facing trial in her own country and also in Europe her uh, assets are being seized do let us know down below I am Wingel Zalal and I'm bringing you the support I'll see you on the next one bye